What's going on everyone? Trust the buzz here if you're new to the channel. I make Charlotte Hornets content, so if that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you cannot tell by the thumbnail title of this video, in today's video, I will be talking about how the Charlotte Hornets picked KJ Simpson from Colorado with the 42nd overall pick in the 2024 NBA Draft. And I would like to say this is just everything you need to know. Shouldn't be a long video, not much to talk about outside of KJ Simpson being a phenomenal player. At 6'2", he's roughly what? Let me look real quick at like 180. He's a smaller guy, but he's a true point guard, and I feel like that's something that for years we've been trying to just patchwork the, the backup point guard position without getting a true point guard for LaMelo Ball, uh, at least a backup point guard. We've done – we tried to get Frank Nielakina last year with Dennis Smith Jr. the year before who – was a point guard, but really, really, really his bread and butter came from being the defender that he is. Um, they also tried to do it with uh, Tail Maladon. We've tried to run Terry Rozier, point guard. There's just so many guys. Trey Mann, Cody Martin, Vasily Micic. So many guys have tried to do that backup point guard role, and it just not just quite hasn't worked. And I think with KJ Simpson, we finally found it. He's very similar. His game isn't like LaMelo Ball, but it's similar in terms of kind of his style. Um, he, he's going to shoot the three. He is a lot, to me, he's a lot more early on better um, at attacking the rim. Granted, he's, what, three years older, so I feel like the, the, top, the trajectory is probably on par for the course for LaMelo when he started attacking the rim. But he likes it. He likes his shots at the rim, even though he's 6'2". He has the good job of kind of slowing slowing the game down, changing paces, keeping the defender on his hip. Even if it's a bigger defender, he blows by him and is able to keep them, like I said, on his hip, away from the ball so he can put up a shot. Um, he's really good in the pick and roll. He waits for his center to roll and actually reads the defense and puts the ball. He has incredible ball placement, in my opinion, uh, as a pick and roll handler. He plays well without the ball on offense, and I think he just becomes a weapon, um, a backup weapon for the Charlotte Hornets. I would like to, honestly, there's not anyone, even Vasily Amicis, there's not anyone on this roster who I would prefer to have the backup point guard role right away. I think I think KJ Simpson is the answer. It's also going to be very exciting because this is probably going to be the first time we have a true point guard um, in, in summer league. I just really like KJ Simpson's game. I had him as a late first round pick, so the fact we get him at 42 is excellent. I think the only reason he was low is cut is because he's way more offensive than he is defensive. Though on defense, he has a really really high motor, really good effort, and you can you can see it. Uh, there was this one play in particular I think about when he was playing Florida. I don't remember if that was in the like first four game for the tournament or that was right after in the in the first round. But there was a get there was a play where he. Took a three, missed it, uh, tried to get it to the center, and it was stolen by Florida, and he stole it back. It, it just, it's just that type of effort with this guy, and then he went up to make the shot. So it's just that type of effort with the guy. I really like his game. Um, I think he's going to be, in, like I said, an overall weapon where we can use him as he can play without LaMelo and be the lead guard or he can play with LaMelo and move up ball. Like I said, he, he does an excellent job of just relocating and trying to find the open lanes. He takes screens well as far as like when he's cutting, um, not cutting, but when he's moving without the ball, he's going to take the screen and, and, and and, you know, kind of come up the, the court, make himself available to the ball handler. He's just an excellent, excellent player. Um, I think I, I felt like we needed a point of attack defender for the smaller people, for the smaller guards in the league, and there's plenty of them. And I think he can be the guy. He's not going to be the lockdown guy that, you know, we've – preached about for other people but he's a guy where I'm, I'm going to be okay it's, it's almost like a Trey Mann-esque where he's pretty good on defense and, and you just kind of leave it at that but his offense is really where his game stands out an excellent three-point shooter shooting 43 percent now prior years he didn't shoot that well but you could always tell that it was there it was a, a lot of it was shot selection a lot of it was just having the team around him once he got better players Tristan De Silva Cody Williams on that roster as well for the Buffaloes in Colorado you saw his game open up even more um, and I think it just transcended him and I think he's really 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 going to be a very very capable guy for the Charlotte Hornets um, I, like I said I don't think there's anybody I would put over him as far as the lead backup I know Micic you know is a guy that you can kind of look Look at, but I, even him, I, I really wouldn't be for him. Uh, when we have KJ Simpson, Meek is a little older. Um, uh, his offense la is a little lackluster as far as scoring. I think KJ Simpson is the perfect guy because I feel as though while him and LaMelo are a little different, we don't have to sacrifice. If we were to lose LaMelo, if, if LaMelo um, 
is just coming out the game for you know for rest. I don't think we have to change too much of how we play and how we operate because KJ Simpson is just as much of a threat offensively the same way Lamelo is not obviously in the same form, but just like a guy that you better watch out because he can run the pick and roll well. He can find the open guy. He passes guys open. Um, like I said, he has an incredible ball placement. Um, he, he can pull up for the three, use the screen, and drive. Like There's just so much he can do that I don't think we have to – when we switch guards out, we don't have to be like, oh, now we're scrambling trying to figure out how to run you know, the offense with this guy. It, it's going to be very, very much similar. They, they do it in different ways. They have, of course, different tendencies, but – Overall, I think the complete offense itself is going to be very much the same. So I really, really like this pick, and I look forward to seeing what K.J. Simpson can do for the Hornets.